the colonel had, had children, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I would expect so. And he's not going. It goes back to... He uh, can't disappoint the kid, so he started... <laughs> oh, my yeah, gosh. Uh, British, Australian, Irish, and Canadian children also they have cared for the reindeer and traditionally told that if they are not good all year round, they will receive a lump of coal. But this follows the dust custom of Santa Claus to put out their shoe. Uh, other Christmas Eve Santa rituals in the United States include reading Clement Moore's A Visit from St. Nicholas or other tales about, okay, here's something. What don't you see on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day in the United States anymore? Christmas shows. Christmas shows. They don't do them anymore. Which is really kind of pathetic. They, uh, they, they've been showing them now after Thanksgiving, but they're not as um, available as they used to be. I know. They used to be on primetime television. Yeah, on prime. Uh, but it, it's sort of a shame because, um, you know, you get all of this stuff. I mean, every night you're, you're seeing, uh, like I've seen like four different versions of, um, of, uh, of the... Miracle on 34th Street. There's only one version, though, of uh, It's a Wonderful Life. There's never been... Another one? There's never been another one. They've tried to do it, you know, with a woman or something or other people, but it never works. Only the one version. It's the only movie that can never have another version made of it because you have to understand the firepower that was in that movie. We had major character actors in that thing. It was basically, it was meant to be a huge movie and it was a god-awful failure the year it came out. It was, it was considered one of the biggest bombs ever done by Jimmy Stewart and the next year, it lit fire. I mean, he, you know, I think he made more money from that movie than he did any other thing he did in his life because the bloody thing plays everywhere. But it's well, never they haul been, it out every Christmas. They've never been able to repeat it. It's like, You've, they've, re, they've tried to repeat the Ten Commandments. Nobody watches the Ten Commandments that other than it's Only the original one, the Charles original one, But you cannot, because Jimmy Stewart was every man. And he was basically, everything went wrong at Christmas for every man. Mm -hmm. And he, he still persevered, you know, everything turned, because he had all of his friends in the world came together at one place at one time, Christmas. You know, and the bell rang, you know, another angel got his wings, so. So um, basically, uh, we got we got all these things. Here comes Santa Claus up on the house top, you know. So all these things that you're not out. Okay, all of this stuff that we can talk about, but can't do anything. Basically, um, in, in, in public domain is not actually public domain. You try singing, you know, anything from all the night visitors, that family will hang you. Um, Warner Chapel music will cut your throat if you use anything that resembles something that's in their library. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, the, the video camera today, basically family members uh, tape things to send to other family members. Only problem is, is that um, if it gets on YouTube, they order you down. Mm -hmm. They have no sense of humor. It's not like people are still in this stuff, folks. It's, they, they do it like, uh, you know, they're singing, uh, no well, no well. You can get away with that. Or you can go, Santa night, holy night. But don't sing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, or Santa Claus is coming mm -hmm. to town. Or uh, Santa baby, do -de -do -de -do -de -do. don't do that because that'll get you. That'll get oh, maybe you. that's why some of the songs are in church and others aren't. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I just thought about because all the ones you're not supposed to sing are the ones you never hear in church. Yeah. Um, last minute ritual for children before going to bed, including aligning stockings on the master and the mantelpiece or other place. We actually built because the girls wanted it. We, we didn't have a fireplace in one of the places. My father built a mantel in. Just for Santa? For the Santa so that the children could, you know, put the stockings up there. And the stockings got bigger as the years grew on, folks. I mean, maybe they started out little things, they got big jobs. But we built that thing. I remember that Christmas because my mother, what the hell are you doing? They said, the girls want a mantle. They're used to a mantle. I said, we don't have a fireplace. They so? Said, so. And then the next year, my father cut a hole in the wall and put it on a gas fireplace, and they put a gas log in there because there was this mantle on this wall. <laughs> so you so sat there, we sat there, and then, and then my mother said, "What?" The, she had my mother had a New England. She, my mother grew up a dainty little girl from New England with a New England language problem. 
<laughs> what the uh, are you doing? They said, we have done nothing but a bitch for six months. I'm putting the fireplace in here. So, <laughs> you know, and you got a big hole to the outside world, and then you, you're building the fake thing behind it. Just so, oh, daddy, daddy, we got a fireplace. Girls are not stupid. They did end up fireplace. You know, they thought they want they okay, that no fireplace, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, fireplace, but I sat there and put bricks behind that thing and then and, uh, then my father would determine we were not gonna have a repeat from where the girl that no fireplace, Daddy and Mother you know, they knew it was not a fireplace. Mm -hmm. Well it was the next year, it was a gas fireplace. Mm -hmm. And since we didn't have gas at that time, we had electricity. You know, we were a modern house. We had an all-electric house. My father had to pay a god amount fortune to run a gas, natural gas line over to the thing so the girls could have... A, and my mother said, would it have been cheaper to build a chimney? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was... The, you don't think of those things. Little kids will do things to you at Christmas time. You're trying to make them happy, so you tend to forget. You know, you do stupid things at Christmas. We did lots of stupid things, but... Um, but uh, basically, we're, we're coming to an end of our, our version this time. Um, tags on gifts for children are sometimes signed with our parents from Santa Claus before the gifts are laid beneath the tree. I always signed all the things. I mean, okay. I know. Santa Claus like, has the same handwriting as you do, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know how we handled all of that in my family? Oh. I, 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 cause I did all of the Christmas, I did all of the tags. For everything for years, and my mother, my, my, my mother would say, "Well, you think Santa Claus has the time to set and write names of all of the children in the world?" He said, "That's what dumb brothers are for. Oh, they'd have to get that good for something. Mm -hmm. They write the names on. You know, my mother had lots of brothers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that you know, when your sister, you tend to think the brothers are all stupid, have no use in the world. So, my little sister, he got a use finally." So, but, no, but uh, we, we hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus is coming. Or St. Nicholas. Or Santa Claus. Yeah. Or Chris Kringle. Yeah, and, uh, and you know, we're, gonna, we're actually are going to write something. We're going to put it up about people mailing. We haven't thought about it. Now we should do it, so I'm going to have to go back and... Well, because it's all, it. most of it's right there, yeah. and then we just verify a few things. It's like, how do you we write just, it? Uh, oh, okay, my information is from 2007, so I have to get it for 2011 now. So that's all. I go check facts and... You're going, well, welcome. This isn't all more current. Well, this isn't most current. Because this is, okay, this was not... It has actually got awful current. This is um, this is history. History is as current as history is going to be. This is from four years ago, and it didn't exist last year for us to use. It only exists this year. So, so this is the most modern interpretation at this point. That's right. And next year there may the be a we've different. We've been able to find. Yeah. So uh, we may, you know, next year do the criticism of Christmas and debunk it. Oh, I sure hope not. So have a merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Where are you? <laughs>